Okay. The $50,000 Flat Earth Challenge. You may determine your own uh, degree of curvature um, so that we won't be arguing that point at all. So the Earth curves approximately no, six feet every nine miles. So for argument's sake, we'll just work on that, but. I don't mind whatever the you call the curvature is. Um, makes no difference to me with this experiment or the fifty thousand dollars. So um, let's get on with it. I uh, have here the world, which you can't see. We better fix this. All right, here comes. Here it is. There is our fake round planet. Right. So just for those of you who may not be aware that uh, we are supposedly spinning like this uh, east at a thousand odd miles an hour uh, <clears throat> whilst hurtling through space at around 65,000 miles an hour um, and then uh, that's going around the Sun and then uh, we are travelling with the sun at some 500,000 miles an hour um, with the solar system hurtling through space somewhere <laughs> yeah. um, the last frontier right in order to win the $50,000 need a plane and as you can see it's just coming into view yes there it is sorry it's only one I could find right so we have a round world we have a plane sitting on the top of the runway like so the plane takes off and it's flying straight and level above the earth now for the plane to fly around the world you can't fly straight and level off this way as whoop, no, that's out into space that's not good um, Okay, well, hmm, the only way would have to be, you'd have to fly around like that, wouldn't you? Fly around the world like that. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's the only way I see it. So, we fly around the world. As I said, you decide whatever the degree is. I will allow this experiment to go to, for argument's sake, let's say let's work at 10,000 feet altitude as I can prove that in a light aircraft pretty easily pretty easily so um, if it really came to it um, that may be what I will do um, but I mean you can pick an altitude really it doesn't matter um, even if you're up around 40,000 feet but we're going to call it 10,000 feet so what someone has to prove in order to get the $50,000 is how you fly around the world straight and level 
and maintain your 10,000 feet as you fly around this globe like that and all the way around of course and going under the globe we upside down but oh no, hang on maybe maybe we should fly it this way hmm maybe the, is that the way it, Yeah, that looks a bit, looks a bit of a problem there as well. Mm, oh, okay. So, we're flying 10,000 feet, we're flying around the world. Now, what doesn't count as an answer, and will not be accepted, is that gravity can hold the plane at the 10,000 feet, apparently still flying straight and level which is the horizon horizon means eye level so you have to fly around the world at 10,000 feet like this right so hop in your plane or your simulator what however you want to prove this start at 10,000 feet and then put the nose down which immediately means you're not straight and level because as I said if you went straight and level you, you well you might hit the dome um, you're flying out into space so you're flying straight and level at 10,000 feet and you're going right around the world doesn't matter which way you're going around the world you know like that do you fly around the world and then end up upside down like that well I guess we do so in the southern hemisphere of course um, that's what you're seeing you you like this yeah. um, right so you're maintaining your 10,000 feet you work out your degree put your nose down whatever degree you decide is the truth the curvature of our so-called uh, planet sphere and once you've put your nose down whatever degree that is to follow the curvature of the earth there's where the experiment starts and finishes and there's only one way there's only one place you're going to end up and that's going like that there's nothing else to it that is it if you are flying straight on a sphere it does not mean your nose is down for the curvature. You're flying straight and level. Straight and level is horizon, as I said. So there's your challenge. Work out the degree, the curvature of the Earth. Makes no difference to me. It doesn't exist anyway. Um, and then get in your simulator, jump in your aeroplane, Set yourself at 10,000 feet on autopilot and fly around the world. Gravity will not be accepted as a form of apparently holding your 10,000 feet and holding the curvature of the Earth um, and maintaining your altitude. Gravity doesn't do that. Gravity is gravity is is not um, intelligent. It cannot decipher whether you're in a jet toy or whether you're in a jumbo jet, or whether you're in a light aircraft or whatever you're flying. Every craft is very different. So it's real simple. Find out the curvature of the Earth. Set yourself at 10,000 feet, put the nose down for the curvature of the earth, and keep flying. 
But here's a warning. You'll hit the ground well before you even look like getting part way around the world. As around the world in a sphere is pure nonsense. Now I will show you what our world does look like. Now that's better. Our world's round, without a doubt. No question about that. But it's flat and it's round. This is south all the way around the disc. The center hole here, that's north. This is south. It's straightforward stuff. So, good luck. Now, um, I know this is a very sophisticated video. I must admit I'm very proud of it. Um, not. But the point is, is that anybody can fly an aeroplane around the world with that degree without hitting the earth or take out the 50,000. Thank you, KJ out.